Hello YouTube, really quick snippet video today and we're going to look at how you can include template files in a plugin rather than in a theme. Now you might think why would I want to do that? Well let me give you an example. So let's say you're doing some work on an existing WordPress site which has a theme and everything. And what you want to do is you want to add uh, another plugin. In this particular example, we were adding a job board plugin and we wanted to customize the templates that that job board plugin um, provides. Now, traditionally what you do is you'd create template files in the theme for archive and single versions, and then you'd work on them in the theme. But we didn't want to interfere with what was already there. We just wanted to be able to create a plugin add the plugin to the site, activate it, and maybe set some things up, and it all works. So here's how you can tell WordPress to not load them from the theme and actually look in your plugin at the same time. And um, just before we get onto that, if you want to watch more of these snippets, then please consider subscribing to the High Rise Digital YouTube channel where we talk a lot about WordPress and web development. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button. Anyway, let's get down to the code. So this is a gist. It's on gist.github.com and I'll put the link in the description below. And it talks about a very simple piece of code on how to do this. So you can see here we've got a function which I've created, HD set job template location. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a special WordPress filter called template include. And basically what happens is when WordPress is picking which template file it's going to use to render uh, that particular page view, whether it be a single post, a single page, uh, a category archive, once it's done the selection of which uh, where that is, that location is, it runs that through a filter and it allows us web developers to actually change that location. And that's what the template include um, filter does and gets passed to the filter is the actual template of course that, that we've, we've got so in here on line six you can see that we've got a dollar template this is the existing template that WordPress is going to choose and it gives me the opportunity to change it so what I'm doing here is I'm just basically saying if this is a single job listing page so the post type here is called job underscore listing so if we're viewing a single job listing page then actually I want you to set a new location for the template for that so I'm just setting a new location and I'm setting it to the root of my plugin in the templates folder and I want to call it single job listing, the same name that it had originally but in a different place. And then, in, and then what I'm doing down here is I'm saying if this is the post type archive of job listings, then do exactly the same thing but we're going to set archive job listing. And then what you do is you'd place these files into your templates folder in your plugin and it would load those instead when those load. So you can keep everything packaged up and contained in the one plugin rather than having to interfere with putting files into the theme, which I think is a nice uh, solution for when you're interacting or integrating with someone else's stuff. So a really useful filter that you can use there to include files from your plugins rather than your themes. Hope you found that useful. If you did, then please smash the like button and I will see you in the next video.